I didn't see you standing there. Welcome guys to another Wayday video. Um, I'm going to start off with talking about my video that I made last night concerning my sewer. Uh, when I say backed up, I don't mean like I had to go downstairs with rubber boots on. Um, that kind of backed up. Uh, a little bit came out of the drain, um, so we took immediate action. Darcy put a bunch of chemical down there. <laughs> she created her own form of mustard gas, basically. And so we had to leave last night. I wasn't going to stay here. She wasn't going to stay here. Dogs weren't going to stay here. So we left and we went to the hotel she works at. Great place, guys. If you're ever in Swift Current wanna, and you want to stay someplace neat, clean, comfortable, stay at the Super 8 Swift Current. It's a great hotel. I'm just not saying because Darcy stays there. It, I really do like the hotel. They have a pool and hot tub. Mm -hmm. Continental breakfast from 6 till 10. Mm -hmm. Good eats, man. Anyways, so we came back this morning uh, with a buddy of mine. We tried snaking the line, but we figured, we found out the line was actually clogged down out underneath the front yard. So we couldn't reach it with the snake. So pressure, pressure would work. So we clogged all the lines in the house, like all the uh, overflows. And we just started pouring in hot, hot water. That way we basically tripled the amount of pressure that would be on that line normally. And it basically just slingshotted whatever was in there out of there. I think I know what was in there. Dog poop. Flushing dog poop. Because Brock is still potty training and he has accidents in the house every now and then. So I wasn't going to weigh myself today but I was here early enough. Darcy woke me up when she had to go to work. Oh wait a minute, she was already at work. She slept at work last night. So when she got up for, to go upstairs, she woke me up too, so I text my buddy. I'm like, hey, come over and help me. So we came over here, we got all that fixed up, and the house doesn't stink anymore. So praise be to whoever. It's taken care of. Um, now as for the weigh day, so I came home early enough, weighed myself. And I am now two pounds down yet again. Um, I'm getting sick and tired of this two pound down crap. Um, now, Virtual Paul, I'm going to take a little page out of your book here for a second. And I'm going to take a little page out of my, what the doctor told me. Um, for people over 300 pounds, there is no such thing as a plateau. Now this comes from my doctor, not from Virtual Paul, so don't get mad at him. Um, there is no such thing as a plateau. Um, the cause of a plateau, now I'm gonna believe my doctor when he says this. I know I'm gonna get some comments saying it, it's not true, but I'm gonna believe my doctor whose wife is a bodybuilder and he is a, if he was German in the 1930s, he would be a poster child of fitness. Um, anyway, so you're over 300 pounds, there is no such thing as a plateau. Um, a plateau is for people who are at near or a little bit over their perfect body weight. Because what happens is your body does not have that stored fat to eat, to survive off of. So your body slows down. Um, when you're larger, your body is still going to get all the nutrients because it has so much to live on. A person who is over 300 pounds could survive a long time without food. You will basically just start eating your own muscle tissue, your own fat reserves, etc, etc, etc. Why do you think bears eat? They're a mammal, just like us. You know, you and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals. Um, so, today, I sat down and I was watching uh, Kitchen Nightmares. Uh, Gordon Ramsay, he's my absolute favorite celebrity chef. It goes him, Mario Batali, then Bobby Flay. But Ramsay is my favorite just because he's, he gets angry. He shows realism. I'm going to get closer to you guys. So... 
and he said to a kitchen, to, to a restaurant owner, are you doing everything you can to make your restaurant successful? That I just took that into my own life. Am I doing everything, diet, exercise, correct to aid myself in my journey? And quite frankly, guys, no, I'm not. And there are many reasons why I, I wasn't. Um, number one being excuse. And then don't forget about excuse. Oh, an excuse. But excuse. But the excuse and the excuse and excuses and excuse of the excuse. Excuse? Excuse. You understand what I'm saying, guys? You know, we get to our size, whether it be 50 pounds overweight. Excuse me, Monty. Monty just farted, sorry. I apologize for my dog. Blame on dog, yeah. Um, we get to our size, we learn excuses, right? Oh, my elbow hurts, um, my back hurts, my knee hurts. Oh, dang it, my fingernail hurts. I can't work out today, and I can't cook, so I'm going to have to hit a drive through It's the only way I can live with my hurting fingernail. Look at my fingernail. Look. Look. But we become such pros at, pros at excusing ourselves from unhealthy eating, unhealthy living. It becomes a matter of routine. And even if you break that routine for one week, one month, one year, you know, that's still a learned behavior. And we have to teach ourselves, we have to unlearn that. We have to, we gotta figure out a new way of living. Whether it just be from buying things at the grocery store, our meal preparations. Like when I made my video about um, my grocery haul and people are commenting about the prepared foods we buy for our lunches. Um, Darcy works in a place where she doesn't have access to a stove or an oven. So it's very hard for her to actually cook food there. I work in a fast food restaurant. I could eat there, but I choose not to just because I know I, even though there are healthy choices there, I won't take the healthy choice. I'll take the easy, yummy, good um, Whoppers. I love Whoppers. Um, I'll take that over my beautiful self. Hang on for a second, guys. I want a little bit more lights in my life. Um, so, People were like, well, just cook more and have leftovers. But here's the thing, guys. If we had leftovers before, I wouldn't have been 525 pounds. Okay? Plain and simple. Um, we can package up all the leftovers we want, throw them in the fridge, but they won't be there the next day. You know, at some point at night, I'll be like, ooh, I got some rumbly in my tumbly. <laughs> oh, open the fridge. Oh, look at that. There's leftovers. Quick, easy, and I can demolish it. So that's the reason why we do buy those prepared meals you throw in the microwave. I come home for lunch. It's already usually 1.30, 2 o'clock. I throw it in the microwave. I have my lunch. You know, then me and Darcy, we go and we go for a walk. Or we do, we visit. Because she goes to work at four. Um, so with that being said, guys, it's boiling down to it's our choices. And I know it's my choices that are making me stall, not plateau, at my weight. I'm losing two pounds a week. You know, I thank goodness for two pounds a week. Um, because if I... If I wasn't actually being active, you know, going out there walking, uh, doing Richard Simmons, I haven't done Richard Simmons in over a week. You know, I'm not doing the things I need to get myself to my goals. 
So where does that leave me, right? Now I can continue losing two pounds a week. Everyone's saying, oh, but that's the healthy thing to do, Chris. Two pounds a week, two pounds a week, two pounds a week. Which is very true. When you are overweight, two pounds a week is a great amount of weight for you to lose. But when you are classified as super morbidly obese, two pounds a week means you happen to go to the bathroom before you stepped on the scale. I'm not trying to gross you people up. And believe me, I've dealt with a lot of shit lately. Um, so that's what, it, that's what it means. Now what do I have to do to get myself back in that mind frame? You know what, I have to tell myself, I need to do what I have to do um, to get into that, get into that mind frame. You know, whether it is uh, knowing I have to go for a walk, um, doing Richard Simmons every night before bed, like I did every day in October and November. You know, is that it? Maybe it means I have to find something to preoccupy my time with. Because, and you know what? I leave myself notes. Here, here's one I just wrote out. I'm gonna put this on my fridge. It says, are you really hungry? So I kind of wrote it as looking at the camera. And I'm gonna put it on my fridge. Every time I get up and I go to go into that fridge, I'm gonna see that, are you really hungry? Are you really hungry or are you really bored? Because lately guys, especially with Darcy being gone for three days last week, I have been a freaking snacking machine. Now, it's true, in our house we have healthy snacks. We don't have the crap snacks. But when you take, you know, 10 healthy snacks, You could have one unhealthy snack and it'd be the same thing. So instead of taking that 10 unhealthy snacks, I gotta say, you know what, I gotta set myself times that I can eat. You know, when I get up at, at 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock in the morning, I eat at 6.30. Because that's how long it takes me to get, to get ready, get to work, etc, etc. And I always have my yogurt and my banana at work. Now, I used to not eat in between 6.30 and 2. Because I was at work. I had crap to do. You know, I got paperwork I have to finish. I got schedules I have to do. I have projections. I got excuse, 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 and excuse. And don't let me forget about excuse. So I need to find somewhere in that time to have a snack. Uh, whether it just be a little side salad, or another yogurt, or another banana. Now I'm going to have to condition myself to do that. Lunch, I'm going to stick with what I'm doing for lunch. I think lunch is my most powerful meal of the day. 300 calories and that fuels me for already working in my 8 hours and then going out for that walk with Darcy. Now when I get home from that walk with Darcy and Darcy goes to work, that's when I'm like, Sure is hungry in here. I mean, boring in here. Huh. Well. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to try to find something to occupy my time there. Um, I know Darcy would say cleaning. Cleaning? You like cleaning? You should clean. Clean. Vacuum. Um, but realistically, I need to find something that's going to occupy my time during that time. And to get me to supper. Now for supper, yeah, it's hit and miss most days. Um, but I need to I need to step it up, guys. I'm not aiding myself in my journey. Now I watch all your videos, and I my dog just taught himself how to water out of his mouth. It was actually quite entertaining. So I want to ask you guys, have you guys found yourself in this little funk? Because I'm done calling it a plateau, it's not a plateau. It's my choices 
For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Okay, so I want to know, are you guys in this? Have you gotten through this? What have you done to help yourself get through this crap? All right, guys, so way day video is done. I want to say thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later on this week. And I'm going to let you guys know how my new little changing his mind is going on, okay? All right, guys, I love you guys all. Oh, I want to give a couple shout-outs. Uh, Mappy, um, hi. I'm so happy you're subscribed to me. Um, guys, if you don't... If you guys haven't met Mappy, it's Mappy1967. I can't remember off the top of my head, Mappy. I'm sorry. Just look at my subscriber bar. Um, her name is Mappy. Follow my numbers. Uh, subscribe to her. You know, check her out. She's a cool lady. You know, she's she's living. She's she's learning. She's fighting through the struggles that we all go through. And I want you guys to support her. And I want to thank you to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I think I'm at 110 right now. That's awesome. All right, guys. I see you guys later. Love you long time. Peace. If I fall back down, you're gonna help me back up again. If I fall back down, you're gonna be my friend. If I fall back.